What is up y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Um, we're back in the shop. Today we're gonna be switching out some engine bay parts. We finished doing my engine bay piece. I'm gonna be replacing that. Um, I finally got to do it. Um, some hardware. I went to the hardware store, got some of these with some uh, rivet nuts. And uh, we're gonna be installing it that way because last time I was using like these, which look like this, and they were just the thread didn't have anything to hold since it's hollow. Um, so really the right way to do it is uh, rivet nuts. So we're gonna be, I installed the rivet nuts um, the other day. So we're just gonna be installing the new hardware. Um, and I'll show you guys the piece that I, uh, I'm gonna replace. I already took it off. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So this piece here is gonna be the old one. No, I have a replacement for this one which is brand spanking new, no scratches, no nothing. So we're gonna be replacing this. This goes in the engine bay, covers pretty much all the um, S2000 engine bay without the uh, air box. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully you guys like the vlogs. Make sure you guys check out my latest vlog. Um, I did a heat wrap on my intake. So far it's working great, I love it. And I really like how it looks, makes my engine bay uh, stand out. So seeing on working on my engine bay, um, I've been trying to do that for a while, so making it look a little bit better, cleaning it up, um, and pretty much, you know, making it pop, stand out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'll probably throw my GoPro on my harness, show you guys how I install it, and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. So guys, this is the actual new part that I made. As you can see, it's a lot bigger has a lot more coverage than the old one. This one goes uh, up to where the radiator is, covers the radiator. Um, and then I put a little bit of uh, gold uh, heat wrap tape on the back just to prevent any uh, heat from the engine hitting the intake. You will get some heat um, in the engine or the intake, but I mean, that's with everything. Um, unless you have like a cold air intake, then it'll be uh, a bit cooler, but this looks a lot nicer, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I'll show you guys the engine bay. This is what the engine bay looks like without the heat shield. Um, got my intake here. So pretty much the intake would just look something like that without um, the heat shield. And you got a lot of uh, space, extra space. Uh, where the radiator is. Um, so this is kind of like a before. You can see you have a lot of space here, a lot of space here. Doesn't look as clean as with that part. So I don't got a turbo, got to throw some spice in the engine bay. So decided to custom make that part. Um, this is a third version of it. So that's that. I took out my cold air intake, have it here. Um, I just don't like switching it on and off because it's kind of a mission. You got to take the, you know, the whole underside uh, plastic panels, that beautiful gold tape on the intake. Check out that splitter, rained the other day. So my car's all dirty. So it gives me time to work on my engine bay for now. So guys, here we go. Got to do the install. I did add some uh, rubber stoppers in the bottom to prevent rattling. So. Um, that's pretty much for the rattling, but the fitment's pretty on the, the fitment's pretty on point. Um, so it was pretty well thought out, and so far it's looking good. So let you guys check it out. So it's pretty much dropped in there, and as you can see, it already looks way better than just having you know, that empty space. Um, that's the space I was talking about. So it pretty much covers this whole area. This is another view from the side of the car. So it covers up the whole radiator part. And then uh, that's where I installed the gold tape in the back over here. And uh, I did some cutouts for the hoses as well, just to make sure they had clearance for that and that right there. So. Overall, the fitment is 
pretty damn spot on. Switched it to super view, that way you guys could get a little bit more um, view what I'm doing right here. Zip ties, cause if you're a car guy and you haven't used these, then are you really a car guy? <laughs> these come in handy um, all the time, so. Check that out guys, finished installing the heat shield. Um, it's hella sturdy, it's not gonna move anywhere. It has that gold tape in the back. So whenever the heat hits the engine, it won't heat up the actual uh, part. So it'll help keep the intake cool and it looks cool so um there it is i told you guys on my last video i was gonna um be working on this piece and we finished it so here it is so guys that was a heat shield uh panel install you know fresh part uh, on the s2000 i'm looking to do um some more modifications to it um not really sure what I want to do with the exterior, like I said in the previous videos, I want to do a carbon fiber hood. Uh, I'm going to be having these uh, parts custom made by me. If you guys want to get this piece or more information about it, more pictures, uh, definitely hit my DM on Instagram, like I said, um, and I'm, I'll be glad to give you guys more information on it. Um, as far as uh, fitment, um, you know, what you guys could use it with, um, pretty much this panel here, you could use it with uh, like uh, k and you can use this AEM one. Um, so in the future, I would like to make it in carbon fiber. Well, if I make it, I want to learn how to make it because you know, I'm a pretty hands-on guy. You know, I like doing stuff myself, as you guys could tell. Any other parts that you guys need uh, from splitters to, uh, you know, custom panels, you know, I could make it. So it's just going to cost if I don't have them already made because, you know, it takes time to create something, make sure it looks good. And you know, most of all, I could definitely do them. So that's the video on the heat shield that I made for the S2000. If you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe. Make sure to hit a like, comment, share. And that's pretty much for this vlog, guys. I'll be trying to do maybe like one vlog a week. And, uh, stay tuned for more. Till next time, guys. Peace.